Okay, I told you I was going to do a tutorial video today, and that included hair in Bag It. I got a gift from Mother Nature this morning, <laughs> and I hurts. <laughs> I can't wait till this is all over. I am telling you, I can't wait. Unexpectedly and very quickly, sorry for the roller coaster ride there, folks. I got my stuff from Coastal Sense. And so I can show you that. And I do have a look for this palette, that look I saw Saturday night, but I'm going to have to wait. Like I said, Christmas Day, I'm going to be by myself because the kids are going to Grandma's, and I'm just going to um, muck up some videos. <laughs> But I got the Coastal Scents 42 Color Double Stack Matte Shadow and Brush Palette. Blush Palette. I wanted some blushes um, that I can use. And I like the idea of the matte. And these have different blushes than the blush kit. And I actually like this better by brushes. And these are actually big enough to work with. Oh. Crud monkeys have to rescue that one. These are actually big enough to work with for me. I mean, the size of the brush. Um, I've already been messing with the colors. <laughs> My arm looks like it's bruised. I, I really like these colors. One of the complaints I have about Coastal Scents is a lot of their colors feel and look a little chalky, especially if you're layering. But you know, the orange the purple and this green is not showing up as it really is. It looks teal. It's more Kelly. But it must have like a teal undertone because it's definitely showing up as that way. And then there's this yellow. And this is, it's just smooth and with primer it would look, it would just, you know, the colors would really come true and then with an under coat base, and I love the black, the black, I'm not even touch it because last time it like took me two minutes to wash off my hand. Um, the black down here is extremely matte and it's very dark and as is the white and there is just no shimmer or shine in any of this. And I have a matte palette but I don't have a matte palette with you know bigger sizes of shadows so I like that and I'm not a big palette person. I have palettes, but I sometimes feel like I'm trapped into using colors I won't ever use. Why they put this in as a blush brush, I have no clue. It's a keepable brush for blending, or maybe a little highlight. Blush? The blush palette is awesome. There is a... It's also not stuck down. Um, <laughs> learned that the hard way. There's a color for about everyone here from um, a really good color for, you know, I can't think of the word now, undertone. And another color that could work as one, but more like a natural blush. And then there are lovely pink blushes. And this one is very orange. So I put it on my hand, you know. What? It's very orange. It's almost like an eye color. Just a minute. But then when I put it on my arm, it's like a sheer, sheer tangerine color, which would be really fun in the summer because of the way I tan. So I can use it on other people or myself and be really happy with it. Hi, Rue. You, you're up to something. I can tell. Um, and they stuck right in there, and they're easy to hold on to. And you have a Wiimote. Go put the Wiimote back out in the living room. No, 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 I can't use that in here. Uh, that is not something you're supposed to haul around the house, my friend. That's so and then I got funny. some brushes because, you know, I, I'm not married to the idea of one brush from one company solving all of my brush problems. I use my hands a lot, too. I use Q-tips. I use, you know, I'm a I'm flexible person, but... Squash work. This is a foundation brush, which I find to be more, it's really too small 
to do a full, f I wouldn't, it would take a lot of time. It's pink handled, so I will use this more for contouring, which is the word I was looking for before. And, you know, things like that. Blush, too. When I want to be very precise with my application, or I'm using a liquid blush, you know, like cream, this would be good. I got the big foundation brush. I have another foundation brush that's similar to this, and I have a Maxime Tomat from Low Cornell, and I just wanted something that was synthetic as well because my Maxine's Mop from Le Cornell is not. And I wanted a synthetic brush because I'm going to run into people in Ann Arbor that don't want to use animal hair brushes. Then I finally went ahead and got a stippling brush for makeup application, which I will do tomorrow for you when I do my half and half. By the way, I've had my makeup on about four hours now. I have not blotted at all oily a little bit on that side, equally oily on that side. Ooh, I have got an orange smear on my face. So, um, we'll see. Um, and then I got the small, and by small I mean short, chisel fluff brush, medium. I wanted it for, I mean, I'm, I'm I could find anyone's crease but my own. I'm always like way outside it. And my face does the shading thing naturally that tells me where to put makeup. I don't know why I can't get it right on me. Then I got this teeny tiny little Coastal Scents. Oh, this is all Coastal Scents. Um, brush again. This is Nancy's attempt to get under and in the crease. And then I got the little pencil brush because I love my big pencil brush so, so much. But it's too big for my crease. It's, it's really good for um, my eyebrows. So, I like to dig in that. And then last but not least, I got a bunch of gel liners. I want them all. I have found these to be as good as the MAC and superior to the hip. I got a variety of colors. I got Grapevine. They were out of a bunch of them, and then I just so I just grabbed everything that sells out quickly, and I left the stuff that doesn't sell out quickly there. Uh, 24 karat gold, really creamy. These are so creamy. Oh, Skyline. I love Skyline. Silk white. No, I have no idea what I'm going to use the white for. Sexy pink. Yes, no sexy, no? Platinum. <sighs> Two more. Maroon, which I love. It's just a really gorgeous color. Oh, two more. This is deep plum, and that's not doing it justice. It looks black on the screen, and it's not. It's a deep purple. Um, it's just a gorgeous color. I think it's probably the one I use most from this particular bootay haul. And Flirtlicious, which is just this beautiful pink warm color. You just look great under some beautiful pinky pink and black sorts of looks. And I will use them on my lids to intensify the color rather than as liners. I may use them as liners. I like them. They really do help my stuff blend better. And I'll be getting the rest of them eventually. To keep them longer, people complain that these things can sometimes dry out. Take a piece of plastic wrap, put it over the top, and then screw your lid on. Make sure it's kind of tight. And then screw your lid on nice and tight. And they will last a lot longer that way. I don't recommend keeping them in the fridge. That's a very dry environment. Um, just keep the plastic on them. And any plastic wrap will do as long as it's thin and you can still get the top closed real well. So that's kind of it for today. Go out and play with your makeup.
have 